All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump into it today. Good morning. It's good to see you. Yesterday was beautiful outside, wasn't it? Did you, did you guys sneak outside a little bit? No. Anyone? Mm, yeah. It was just blazing hot for me at the moment. Yeah, it was a little toasty. I, I saw a crazy uh, Alexa on Instagram wandering around. It's her birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know it was her birthday. That's awesome. Um, yeah, that was that was really nice. I, I wished her happy birthday, and I wish we could have all been together as a class. Oh well, um, we'll have to work through it. Not a big deal. I'm sure we can handle it. Um, I do want to go ahead and shout out um, a few people today. Um, my primary shout out. I want to go to those people that did Lexia or have been doing Lexia this week, um, I can't begin to, to express to you how important it is for those people who have been assigned Lexia to do the Lexia. Frankly, to me, it's the most important thing you do. Um, again, I'm speaking directly to those people who obviously have Lexia. Um, <clears throat> and then I also want to shout out um, those people who have gotten a start already on their, their common lit. Um, so I, I saw several people, not a ton, but several people already have the first lesson of the week done. Um, I hope you enjoyed, I won't talk about it in detail um, because I don't want to give away the ending, but I hope you enjoyed that story. Again, it's an extremely famous story. Um, that you'll probably want to run into in high school sometime, or at least in some point in your life. Um, staying with Common Lit, I want to announce a couple things. So uh, I know I've been complaining, you know, I've been complaining about people's work. Uh, it's been un poquito crappy. Okay, there's my Spanish for today. Uh, and in an effort to help that out and it's mainly well it's a lot of things but a big part of it has been the writing so i have um put scaffolds in two different places um i have put scaffolds and i'm going to share my screen now i have put scaffolds on google classroom so if you go to google classroom this is the scaffold, this one right here, and I should have titled it. I'll do that from now on. This is the scaffold for today's assignment. You can cut and paste, okay? It doesn't take a genius to get a fantastic grade when they're cutting and pasting. You guys understand what I'm saying? I'm gonna take your silence to mean yes. Um, again, so just like in class, when I would often provide you with scaffolds at the beginning of the year, I'm doing that again uh, now, just so we can facilitate some better work. Um, speaking of better work, just as um, a quick aside here, I do want to take a peek, and uh, forgive me, you will see names here, but if you didn't want people to see it, you should have done a better job. Um, you guys are better than this. I mean, we have some decent grades here, okay? But we didn't, we get, have some people getting smoked like a Christmas ham. Palayo, come on, man, you are a genius. 30%, okay? So here's the news. <clears throat> Melanie, if you're out there, um, guess what? You actually have to read these to answer the questions, okay? Um, the, the questions are no joke, um, which is what they should be because we're trying to learn. If they were easy, we wouldn't be learning anything. Looking at B, just to be fair in my humiliation tac tactics here. Um, more people doing it, fantastic. But we see some mind boggling grades here, okay? This is not the kind of work that you can do, all right? You guys are better than this. But again, we see some people participating. I'm really glad to see that. So glad to see Carlos's name. So proud of him. 
Um, so we're making progress, guys. We'll get there uh, bit by bit by bit by bit. Um, okay, so I want to, we are going to watch a video today. I'm going to log out of this account, log out. I'm going to go over to, I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, come on, go away. I'm going to go over, go away, here. Um, and today's, today's story is called, I believe it's called Aztec Sacrifice. So I'm not giving anything away here when I say it's about, you know, Aztec Sacrifice. And there's nothing I like more at 9 o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday during a pandemic than a little human sacrifice. Um, so I thought we could go ahead and watch a video um, for a little background information. Um, and hell, just for a little fun. Because again, I love human sacrifice. I know you guys are out there with me too. Yeah, I bet Palaya would love this. See? I love that. What do you mean? I know. Oh, Cassandra is definitely all about human sacrifice. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. So let's watch this video. And uh, then we'll jump into the lesson. Aztec sacrifice. Yes. 14th to the 16th century AD. Yeah. <laughs> Who were the Aztecs? Why was human sacrificing so important and central in their society? Aztec is a modern day invention to describe the various tribes who make up the Mexica kingdom. They rose to prominence there during the 9th century, and their empire peaked in power and culture from the 14th century until the 16th century, when the Spanish conquered the region, devastating and destroying the Aztecs once and for all in an incredibly short space of time. Ritual sacrifice and self-bloodletting was central to the lives of the Aztecs. Ingrained through ritual and tradition into the Aztec psyche, the concept of blood sacrifice was at the very core of their beliefs. They felt they owed a debt to the gods, one the people should continue to pay every day, otherwise the sun would not rise. Aztecs believed that the sacrifice of the deities at the beginning of time led to the very creation of the universe, while other gods sacrificed themselves in fire in order to breathe life into the sun. The Aztecs believed in many gods and deities, but by far the most important was Huitzilopochtli, the god of sun, who demanded blood in order to be appeased. Individual bloodletting became an daily ritual for the Aztecs, regardless of the age, gender, or social standing of the victim. Animals were also regularly sacrificed in both private and public. It's a popular choice to use, but they also regularly used dogs, eagles, jaguars, and deer. And certain deities, such as the feathered serpent Quetzalcoatl, required the sacrifice of butterflies and hummingbirds. What really drew the community together was public human sacrifice. But to sacrifice people in public, often prisoners of war, with great pageantry and ritual by the high priest. <laughs> Such was the demand for human sacrifice. Mm, yummy. The They're just clapping As for the in battle would often wound the opponent rather than kill him in order to capture him and bring him back for human sacrifice. It is widely believed that many of their wars were motivated he opened by his body and, like channels. and as a way of intimidating the seventh graders. It would normally they probably did it effortlessly, like he didn't have a sacrificial dagger. Was my brother. <laughs> he dropped slowly reviving it in order to give it the strength to rise again each and every day. I love how they just do it so cut out hard. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then they just pull it out like, wow, is it that easy? offered to the sun for it to consume, or was eaten by the high priest. Oh, oh okay. That's the cool, made me a Impersonated <laughs> deity. Their sacrifice would mimic the one that the god had once given in the past. They were dressed up and acted like the chosen deity, and were treated by others very highly, like they were celebrities. Their title was seen as a true honor, and after they had been executed, their body parts were eaten by the people, often the woman oh. less, in order uh, to please the god. Have you ever seen her. Sabrina? That's what happened there. Particular yeah. of ritual. <laughs> See prisoners of war dressed up to look like various gods, who would then be sacrificed, have their hearts cut out, and their skin flayed from their dead bodies. Their skins oh, would then uh, be worn by the priest as a costume to represent them. Oh, we the love theater. that. That's what that's the me out of. Of how the sacrifice <laughs> ceremony was carried out, as the Aztecs were a complicated people with an advanced social culture. 
A common thread throughout these sacrifices <clears throat> was that the heart of the victim would be cut out and a still pulsating organ would be held up high for all to see. At the very center of the Aztec religious world was the Great Temple, which was an impressive pyramid with twin shrines on top, one for Tlaloc, the god of rain, and the other for Huitzilopochtli, the god of war. It was situated in the Aztec's capital city of Tenochtitlan, which is New Mexico City today. Here, countless human sacrifices were carried out by the high priests. Normally, the heart of the victim was ripped out, and then the corpse was beheaded, dismembered, and then the lifeless body was thrown down the steps of the temple to fall 180 feet to the base of the pyramid below. Uh, yeah. The heads of the sacrifice were yeah. the skull racks at the base Cold of the temple. Cold blooded, baby! This sacrifice was a mythical reenactment of the oh, story of the Sun and War God. Which no. is I'm not surprised. Obviously, I would fly. I've already seen this before. Quatrapetl, sacred serpent mountain. In the reenactment, the steps of the temple doubles for the serpent mountain. Most sacrifices at the great temple were prisoners of war or slaves, but also children were sacrificed as their tears were deemed to be linked to Tlaloc, god of rain. Ah. These traditions went yeah, on for hundreds of years. March 1519, when a Spaniard by the name of Hernan Cortez, heading a small expedition, invaded the Aztec Empire. Within two years, the Aztec Empire had crumbled conquered by the Spanish, and its population decimated by smallpox. With this and the arrival of Christian missionaries and their powerful backers, many of the Aztec ways and rituals of human sacrifice were confined to the pages of history, once and for all. But occasionally, despite the Spanish invaders trying to eradicate this practice and all monuments to it, some artifacts have still survived to this day, including ceremonial skull towers and skull racks, Subscribe and click the notification bell for more history videos. But, but hey, at least since they all died of smallpox, we still approach Lee is happy. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you know why you speak Spanish. There you go. I want to, I want to see more blood. I know. Well, there you go. Get, now we get to read about more blood. I want to see more blood. So. I'm going to, Competition. excuse me, um, I'm going to go ahead and go to common lit. I invite you to do the same. I'm going to log in. Dun, dun, dun. And today's assignment that we're reviewing is Aztec Sacrifice. Yay. Yay, indeed. And so, in addition to the directions and the annotation directions, you're going to see something else here. So, let me read this out loud and then highlight something. The Aztecs were Mesoamerican people of the central Mexico, of central Mexico, excuse me, whose practice of human sacrifice remains notorious today. This informational text explores the origins of human sacrifice in Mesoamerican culture, as well as the motives and the methods in which the Aztecs sacrificed people. So you are annotating the who, what, excuse me, the who, what, when, where, why, all these good things, cause and effects, compare and contrast, blah, blah, blah. Then right here, geniuses, it says what the question at the end is going to be, and it gives you a scaffold. So you can cut and paste this if you want here, or as I said before and pointed out before, this is also on Google Classroom. So for those of you who are struggling, or for those of you who are just, well, I'll just leave it at that. For those of you who are struggling, this is for you, and I hope it helps you. I don't know. Yeah. So, Aztec Sacrifice by Mark Cartwright, 2013. Today, um, I'm going to try something different here because this is my ode to all the lazy people out there. I'm going to do the read aloud because I want to show you this feature. Once again, I want to point out you can translate this into any language you please and you can have it read aloud. 
I'm going to have at least the first paragraph read aloud to me. The Aztecs were a Mesoamerican people of central Mexico whose practice of human sacrifice remains notorious Yay. today. Yay. This informational text explores the origins of human sacrifice in Mesoamerican culture, as well as the motives and methods in which the Aztecs sacrificed people. The Aztec civilization that flourished in Mesoamerica between 1345 and 1521 CE has gained an infamous reputation for bloodthirsty human sacrifice with striking tales of beating hearts being ripped from still conscious victims, decapitation, skinning, and dismemberment. Okay, that's awesome. Tales of... Yep. That... I'm going to highlight that. And hold on, did I beat my mess out the tales of dismemberment? That's awesome. Nothing I like more than skinning and dismemberment. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep it going. All of these things did happen, but it is important to remember that for the Aztecs, the act of sacrifice, of which human sacrifice was only a part, was a strictly ritualized process that gave the highest possible honor to the gods and was regarded as a necessity to ensure mankind's continued prosperity. Or okay, so. It sounds a lot like um, the other thing we read. Mm -hmm. The other thing you just read? The lottery? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's uh, again. All these are there. All these uh, informational texts are supplements to the text you read prior. So, um, this was a strictly ritualized process. So the reason I'm, I want to highlight that this is the rationale for the whoops for the sacrifice. They wanted to appease the gods. It means they wanted to make them happy. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to have a read one more paragraph to me. I'm enjoying this. Oh, and I'm going to, sorry, I want to make note of this. Right away, because, and for some reason, having trouble. Right away. I see that they're giving me subtitles. I love subtitles. I know that this next paragraph is going to be about origins, where it came from, and its purpose. Origins and purpose. The Aztecs were not the first civilization in Mesoamerica to practice human sacrifice. It was probably the Olmec civilization, 1200 to 300 BCE, that first began such rituals atop their sacred pyramids. Other civilizations such as the Maya and Toltec continued the practice. The Aztecs did, however, take sacrifice to an unprecedented scale, although early chroniclers undoubtedly exaggerated that scale during the Spanish conquest, probably to vindicate the Spaniards' own brutal treatment of indigenous peoples. Nevertheless, it is thought that hundreds, perhaps even thousands, of victims were sacrificed each year at the great Aztec religious sites. Yes! Pretty simple. It cannot be denied that there would also have been a useful secondary effect of these sacrifices intimidating visiting ambassadors and the populace in general. Okay, so this paragraph, and you notice she'll stop at my guided reading prompt. This paragraph was about, first of all, it tells me right here, origins and purpose. This particular paragraph was about the origins, where it started. Aztecs were not the first, okay? So I'm gonna add that note to it. This paragraph about the origins. Where it started and by whom. Okay. And so I see that I have my first question now. Yes. <clears throat> so it says, human sacrifice in the Aztec Empire was recklessly violent, even though, excuse me, guys, 
uh, human sacrifice in the Aztec Empire was a recklessly violent event that served little purpose. No, it said right here that they were trying to honor the gods. It definitely had a purpose, so that doesn't make sense. Was a rare minor event in the Aztec culture. Uh -uh. No. This stuff happened all the time. Was a frequent religious ritual required to protect humanity. Okay. I don't love this phrase, required to protect humanity, but I kind of get that. Was a nasty rumor made up by the invading Spaniards. Okay. So even though I had a little bit of trouble with the way they phrased this, this is decidedly my best answer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna read the next paragraph. And I will remind you, um, if you picked it up, this is the paragraph that the writing question, the writing prompt is about. So pay particular attention. In Mesoamerican culture, human sacrifices were viewed as a repayment for the sacrifices that the gods themselves have made in creating the world and the sun. This idea of repayment was especially true. Okay, so right here is my thesis, my, excuse me, my topic sentence. What the, what the paragraph is about. And this paragraph is about the why. This idea of repayment was especially true regarding the myth of the reptilian monster. Oh boy. Ooh, Sit Lolly, I think it says. The great gods Quetzalcoatl and <laughs> ripped the creature into pieces to create the earth and sky. All other monsters, all other things such as mountains, rivers, and springs came from Sitlali's various body parts. To console the spirit of Sitlali, the gods promised to appease her with human hearts and blood. From another point of view, sacrifices were compensation to the gods for their own sacrifices made to create mankind. Mythology tells us that the Mm -hmm. <laughs> stole bones from the underworld and used them along with his own blood to make the first human. I think oh. it's pronounced Ehecatl Quetzalcoatl. I hate you so much, Doyle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, damn him. Damn, Mr. Roboto. All right. So I see two things. I see there was this idea of repayment. And then I see this idea of compensation. Okay, so that's it. That that was the why. All right. So what I want you guys to do now is I want you to read this next paragraph, and I'm going to do the same thing. I want you to read this next paragraph on your own and answer the guiding question. Read the next paragraph on your own and answer the guiding question. Dun, dun. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, so go ahead and take a look at the question. Oh, 
All right, guys. Can I get a res choral response here? Can I hear from more than one person? Is the answer A, B, C, or D? A. 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 O. F. I think I heard Palio say O. Yeah, so let's look at this. The Aztecs made. A. A. Guys, the Aztecs made human sacrifices to please the gods, okay? Repayment, compensation for the gods. Possible answer. Punish criminals. That is your doctor or pharmacist moment of the day. Scare their enemies. Well, while that would scare the crap out of me, that is not stated in the text anywhere. Provide entertainment. And again, <laughs> this sounds- That would be uh, very entertaining. This is definitely my favorite answer, but this is definitely the most correct answer. All right. <laughs> so, you only have, you know what? Am I gonna read one more paragraph to you? Sure. Yes. What the hell? More blood. All right. Non-fatal <laughs> sacrifice. Oh, okay. Non-fatal sacrifice, sacrifice was lethal. So, not all sac not all sacrifice killed you. So that's the one I would want to do. Some common forms included bloodletting and cutting, especially from the ears or legs, using bones or animal spines to make the cuts. Burning blood-soaked paper strips was also a common form of sacrifice, as with the burning of tobacco and incense. Other types of sacrifice included offering other living creatures such as deer, butterflies, hummingbirds, and snakes. Sometimes mm. sacrifices were about, and actually I want to add that. So, animals sacrificed as well. An important note. Some sacrifices were about willingly offering precious objects for the gods to enjoy. Priests might sacrifice foodstuffs and objects of precious, precious metals and jade and shells, which might be ritually buried. Some of the most interesting such offerings were dough, images of gods. These were made from, the, from ground amaranth, mixed with human blood and honey, and the effigy being burnt or eaten after the ritual. Ooh, kind of nasty. Okay, so it's like, uh, it looks like they were making like a bread from blood, honey, and whatever this substance is here. Pretty gnarly. Cool. <laughs> cool indeed. All right, so today we've reviewed over half of the text together. So far, this text is all about human sacrifice by the Aztecs. And actually, forgive me, there are other sacrifices as well. They sacrifice foodstuffs and animals. And animals. Yep. Animals. There are only two more questions, two more guiding questions left. Furthermore, I have given you up here in your directions, right here, I have given you a scaffold. You can copy it now, or you can copy it and paste it from the Google Classroom webpage. Are there any questions? <laughs> I have a question. Can you pronounce the God names on the last paragraph that we can see? Oh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> is he making fun of me? No, he's being uh, nice. He is, Grandpa. You lesson. <laughs> no, I cannot access those right now. Holy God, look at that one. <laughs> Zippy, 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 I'm flunking you. I'll see you again next year. Yeah. Oh, okay, bye. All right. I love you guys. So I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna hang out here with you. 
Um, if you want to keep working with me, I would love that. So let's keep it going. Um, and if you have questions, please let me know. That's what I'll be here. All right. Are the last two B and C? I don't know. Oh, I got them right out of the way. <laughs> Just ruined it for everybody else. No, but it, it's really, those are the guiding questions. So it's really important that you, you do the reading. Um, otherwise, you're yeah. going to get roasted on the quiz. All right. And some mm -hmm. of you, you're turning in your work, but your grades are still going down because your work's so bad. All right. So turn this around. All right. Get to it, guys.